Hi, hello and welcome to Talk Talk again. Uh, I want to show you something really cool. Um, I found this uh, 20 years ago um, in the um, house of my parents um, in the attic at the very top. It was standing there. Um, and uh, I was actually initially thinking, I don't know, maybe my parents have a new animal, a new dog or something. It looks like, like I don't know, some kind of a tray for dog food. Um, but it turns out that it's something significantly more fancy than that. It was also quite expensive, uh, very expensive as a matter of fact, around, uh, if you calc convert the prices, around 350 euros. So in dollars, it's around $400. Um, and uh, it is uh, like this, that it's made of uh, plastic, uh, but there is a wire um, around it. Um, and this here in the middle part is, seems to be made of brass, it's solid metal. Um, looks like an antenna, it's also connected here on the bottom side, okay, with the wire, right? There's also another round wire here, it's like a coil actually. And uh, what this thing is good for actually is it's uh, good for something really important because it protects you against cosmic radiation. Um, you all know that the sun um, emits a lot of uh, high energy radiation, visible light of course also, but uh, there's also non-visible um, parts of, um, of the radiation which can be quite harmful. I mean when we get a sunburn for example it's UV light but there are also some, some um, other forms of radiation, gamma rays and so on from from, from space uh, that can be problematic. And uh, it is like this that uh, if you place this on top of your um, uh, house, uh, then this uh, protects you, um, it shields the, the house or the apartment from this cosmic radiation. And this means that uh, you and your family are exposed less uh, to, uh, to radiation. And therefore, of course, we all know that radiation can be very uh, an important contributing factor to cancer and other diseases and so on. So this is actually uh, yeah worth uh, the investment, right? Okay. Um, yeah, so that is uh, basically what it was uh, sold for. It's, it's, it's a protective device against cosmic radiation. And uh, when I basically, uh, when I saw this thing and when my mother explained to me what this actually is good for, I said, why in the world am I still a teacher? I mean, why am I going to school? Um, I might as well invent things like this and sell them over the internet. Um, I'll earn much more money this way with much less work. I mean, I gotta be stupid or something, I don't know. Uh, of course, this is, uh, yeah, this was actually the real reason why it was sold for, but of course it doesn't work. Um, this is a hoax, this is some kind of, I don't know what it is. It's, it's yeah, it's a money-making thing. Um, now, uh, and this is frustrating for me because people actually spend money um, on stuff like this, uh, which I already know it doesn't make sense and it's not gonna work. The problem that I have right now, and this is basically the main point of this video here, is, is let's talk about science and who is responsible for making uh, uh, proving evidence. Okay? If I basically say this is nonsense and forget about it, it doesn't work, uh, I mean, who am I to say that? Do I know better? Right? Well, then prove it. If you think it doesn't work, then you prove it that it doesn't work. Because my customers who bought this are totally satisfied. Yeah. I've interviewed them all, they all said it works well, they sleep much better, for example. Yeah? You put this on top of the apartment, right? Um, and uh, from that point onward, they sleep much better. They can feel it that this really has a positive effect um, on their sleep quality. And now you're coming along and you say, without even knowing this thing, you're claiming now, well, it doesn't work. I mean, if you make this claim, then you got to show that it doesn't work. Because my customers who bought this, okay, are very satisfied. So now what I'm supposed to say, okay? Now, now I'm in the now I'm in a defensive right now, okay? Uh, because if, yeah, uh, may, maybe 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 there is, it it really does work. I mean, what do I know, right? M maybe it does work. So how can I make this claim? Well, the point is the following, and uh, this is basically the point of this video is is who is responsible for actually uh, showing that it works or does not work? If it is in the natural sciences, it's always like this, that the person who makes a knowledge claim, the first person, so if I has to provide the appropriate evidence. So basically this means if I, if I claim that this one protects against cosmic radiation and therefore reduces uh, the radiation load on your apartment, if I make this claim, then I am responsible for providing the evidence that it actually works like this. Okay, not somebody else. It's not somebody else's responsibility to show that it does not work. Okay, this, in, in the natural sciences, it's really important. If you make a knowledge claim, okay, which kind of contradicts previous knowledge, okay, or which is new knowledge, if you make a knowledge claim, then you are responsible for providing the appropriate evidence, and not the other person is responsible for showing that it does not work. 
It's an important uh, principle in scientific thinking. Now, the statement, well, the people are satisfied and they sleep much better. You know what? I actually believe that. If you spend 350 uh, euros or 400 dollars on a thing like this, I mean, and if you believe that radiation from the cosmos makes you sleep badly and you put this on, on, on uh, in your attic in your house, of course you're gonna sleep better. I mean, <laughs> you better. <laughs> yeah? um, and, but the thing is the following, this does not necessarily mean that it protects you against cosmic radiation. It just shows that it makes you sleep better because you actually believe that it makes you sleep, sleep better and you sleep better, okay? Because you believe it. So, but it does not mean that it actually uh, uh, shields you from the cosmic radiation, right? Um, so, the point that I'm trying to make here is, guys, please be careful, okay? There are so many folks out there, and what they do is, is they do a reversal in, 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 in uh, they, they reverse who is in charge for providing the evidence. I mean, I can make any claims that I want to, right? Um, but the thing is, 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 if you want to stay scientific and if you want to base your claims on evidence, then you have to provide the appropriate evidence that actually supports your claim. And simply saying, well, actually the people sleep better and that's evidence that basically it protects you against cosmic radiation, I mean, that's not going to work. So what you have to do is the following, you got to get yourself some kind of a device that actually measures the cosmic radiation, um, the radiation of different frequencies, and then you have to make the measurement with and without this, okay? Uh, but I, to actually um, show that it works then people are gonna say well why don't you do that why don't you actually go ahead and measure it then right show, show that it actually works then right um, and the thing is no it doesn't work like this either because uh, you cannot simply make a claim and then automatically assume that uh, uh, scientists are now going to automatically try to provide evidence or falsify this they're simply I can make any claims right the, if a certain claim contradicts currently existing scientific evidence Okay, then the person who makes this claim has to prove it and not other people have to show that it doesn't work like this by making measurements. Okay, now if you claim that this thing works, then you go out and you take measurements yourself. Okay, it's not up to the other people uh, to, uh, uh, to, uh, to do that, right? I mean, I can invent anything, right? I can say, I mean, I got this little cool tripod here. I mean, I can claim that if I basically put this on, my, on the top of my head here, it protects me against cosmic radiation. And you're gonna say that's ridiculous. Well, you should. Then I'm gonna say, well, um, no, it works. I can concentrate much better. If it do, if you say it doesn't work, then you gotta show that it doesn't work. You 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 prove that this doesn't protect me from cosmic radiation, because I believe it. It helps me concentrate better, right? So uh, be careful of this uh, reversal of uh, who is in charge for providing evidence, okay? Um, and that is, uh, um, I think, uh, really important, especially nowadays with all the fake news and all these things. There's so many claims out there, okay? Um, uh, but there is, uh, people tend to believe it because often, yeah, you tend to believe the things because you don't have the knowledge. But often uh, it is like this that uh, you tend to believe things without uh, uh, appropriate evidence being provided, okay? Well, this was kind of it uh, again. Um, yeah, um, so uh, stay stay rational. That's that's kind of my my, my thing, and 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 uh, just be uh, aware that uh, if you make a claim, any claim, any claim that claims to be scientific, uh, then basically you gotta make sure that you stay. Um, yeah, with you gotta play the games of science. Okay, that is important. If you want to do science, you gotta stick to the rules of science. Okay, um, and if you claim that basically this uh, works by uh, shielding against cosmic radiation. This is a scientific claim, okay? Cosmic radiation is sci is, is, can be scientifically measurable and also this uh, looks like a coil, it looks like kind of scientific, right? It looks like an antenna, so you're kind of uh, alluding to, the, to, uh, to science and to physics by having uh, the device constructed like this. Yeah, it looks kind of plausible, right? Uh, but the, so uh, if you make a scientific claim, then you've got to stick to the rules of science and the rules of science dictate that you are in charge for providing the appropriate evidence if you make a claim. I know I'm repeating myself. Uh, okay, let's just say it's enough for today. Wish you a nice day and all the best. Bye-bye.